I am Brian Scheinberg from the Test Center, and I'm here with the Coolit Domino ALC, which stands for Advanced Liquid Cooling. With this unit, Coolit states that they aim to take cooling to the masses. It's a self-contained, all-in-one sealed unit that's liquid cooling for a CPU. It comes pre-assembled for the Nuna Halem chip, which is the LGA 1366 socket, but it also has all the brackets and backplates needed for an LGA 775 installation, as well as AMD's AM2 and AM2 Plus sockets. The fluid heat exchanger, which is the FHE, attaches to the radiator through two flexible tubes, and the radiator connects to the back of a 120 millimeter fan. The unit attaches to a chassis by replacing the 120 millimeter fan that would be in the back. At a right angle, there's an LCD attached for cases that have panels with windows in them so you can see what's going on. We had a little trouble with the chassis that we mounted this in because the fan mount was too close to another bracket and we couldn't slide it into the case. So we advise you to take note where the fan mounts in your case before you commit to installing this device. It connects to a full power fan header on the motherboard with a three pin connector and has three power modes. There's quiet, performance, and full. The quiet mode is the slowest possible speed while the performance auto adjusts the speed of the fan as needed based on the current temperature of the CPU. The full setting just leaves it on full speed all the times. If for some reason there's a faulty issue, the unit will automatically go into full mode to make sure that it's always operating quietly. Uh, the fan is barely audible, the only time we ever heard it is in full mode and the pump is completely silent unless you put your ear to it. You, you won't even know that there's a pump attached to this thing. Uh, we noticed about an eight degree Celsius change or a 15 degree Fahrenheit change uh, when we measured it in the BIOS with the unit on all the different speeds. And it has suggested a retail price of $79, which is about the same or maybe even a little less than some high-end heatsink or fan solutions. Mainly because of the price and the ease of installation, we think it's a good option for those who want the advantages of liquid cooling, but don't want the added expense or all the considerations that go into installing that type of system. Um, for the test center, I'm Brian Scheinberg. Thanks for clicking it.